It's been over a decade since George Lucas sold his company to Disney for over $4 billion. The day that infamously Star Wars became Disney Star Wars. And since that time, we haven't heard him in too many interviews. Certainly in the first couple years following that, leading up to Force Awakens, even a little bit after, you had interviews here and there, that famous Charlie Rose incident where he talked about selling them to white slavers. But really in the past five years, we haven't heard a ton Well, now that George Lucas is at the Cannes Film Festival receiving a big award, he sat down for a couple interviews, and of course, the topic of Star Wars came up, and he had a lot to say, confirming a lot of the thoughts he's had before, that Disney Star Wars really doesn't align with his vision. George Lucas says ideas in the original, quote, sort of got lost in post-Disney Star Wars films. Lucas reflected on his life and work in a wide-ranging chat in Cannes where he received an honorary Palme d'Or. I I don't know if I'm saying Palme d'Or right, but whatever. A big-time award that he got at the Cannes Film Festival. And included in that interview, he kind of pushed back on people that say there's no diversity in Star Wars. It's all just a bunch of white men. George Lucas rejects Star Wars critics who think the first six films are all white men. Most of the people are aliens. And if you were wondering about some of those insane bullshit fucking fake rumors about George Lucas returning to Star Wars, let's get that cleared up straight away. We'll go to the end of one of the interviews he gave where the question is asked right straight up. Are you making any more movies? Didn't tell it what there was any difference to them. Well, thank you so much, George. Will you make okay. another movie, a, a very last one? No, I'm retired. <laughs> the last one I did uh, as, per, as a producer was uh, a, th- a thing called uh, Strange Magic, which is an animated film. And uh, so I was doing movies that I wanted to do rather than, I don't, you know, I was financing them myself. I had my own studio and I was doing all that stuff. So uh, anyway, now I'm building a museum in Los Angeles. It's keeping me very busy. May the force be with you. Thank you. There you go. Straight from the horse's mouth. You make any more films? Nope. I'm retired. Uh, just to clear that up, some of those things that are still out there. But let's let's get into some of these comments. Now, it, it was wide-ranging. He talked about a lot of things. He brought up, again, he's talked about multiple times kind of what the intention of Star Wars was for and what he thought about going into it. Hey, I was really making a movie for 12-year-old boys at the time. What were they thinking? What's going on in their lives? He re- reiterated a lot of those things. But... I want to go all the way down to the bottom here. Discussing the Star Wars sequels made after he sold Lucasfilm to Disney in 2012, Lucas said the new corporate bosses got a lot wrong. Quote, I was the only one who really knew what Star Wars was, who actually knew this world because there's a lot to it. The Force, for example. Nobody understood the Force. When they started other ones after I sold the company, a lot of ideas that were in the original sort of got lost, but that's the way it is. You give it up, you give it up. Now, that really echoes the the short and sweet sentiments he said. Listen, they didn't go the way that I would have gone. They didn't really take my ideas into consideration. I didn't want to be telling other people how to make their movies. It's theirs now. I gave it up, and and it's done. I guess that might rule out, I don't know, people like Dave Filoni who were at Lucasfilm when he sold it. I guess he doesn't think Dave Filoni had good grasp on Star Wars or The Force either, apparently. I'm sure there's going to be a lot coming out from this. Again, I've seen video of some of the interviews he's done. I haven't seen videos from some of the others. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of clips out there, um, especially with him talking about the critics who say, oh, it's just all white men in Star Wars. He would go on to talk about, listen, You've got some strong women like Princess Leia and Padme Amidala who hold their own. They're leaders of these own different factions. One's a senator. One's kind of leading this faction of the rebellion at the time. And one really interesting thing he said, he talks about the issue of race and about female characters in his movie. For the issue of race, Lucas said in the first one, there are a few Tunisians who were dark. And in the second one, I had Billy D. Williams. And the prequels, I had Sam Jackson. He wasn't a scoundrel like Lando. He was one of the top Jedi. He also responded about the depiction of women in Star Wars, saying, who do you think the heroes are in these stories? What what do you think Princess Leia was? She's head of the rebellion. Same thing with Queen Amidala. You can't just put a woman in pants and expect her to be a hero. They can wear dresses. They can wear whatever they want. It's their brains and their ability to think and plan and be logistical. That's what the hero is. Certainly, we're going to see a lot from this. I'm sure people on both sides are going to take a little thing here or there. But one thing is absolutely positively true. Well, two things, actually. George Lucas is not coming back to do a fucking Star Wars movie or show or whatever. That's bullshit. Always was bullshit. But two, 
He still thinks that Disney fucked up with Star Wars, that the people there didn't understand it. They made mistakes. But unfortunately for him, he sold it and he gave it up. So it is what it is. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.